Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to add your product inventory uh, or your stock level uh, onto the product page on Dawn and on other modern Shopify themes. This is really easy to do if your product does not have variants like color or like size. Unfortunately, it gets pretty complicated if your product does have variants, so I won't be covering that in today's video. But if that's actually what you're looking for, just leave a comment below and I'll make that video for you. And like I said, this is a tutorial using Dawn, which is Shopify's new default theme on Shopify Online Store 2.0, but you can do the same thing on any theme that has the custom liquid code block available on the product page. So as you can see, here I am on my product page on my development store, and I have this line right under the price that says we have six items remaining. This is a product without any variance, so this is really easy to do. First, we're gonna add a block, and that block type is gonna be custom liquid, okay? So this is a block where you can add custom code. Now I'm just gonna write test so that it shows up. Here it is at the bottom, test. And I'm just gonna drag it up to where I want it to be. So like right under the price, there it is. And I'll just hide my other block right now because I'm just gonna show you step-by-step step how to do this. The first thing I'm gonna do is write stock or something like that. And then I'm gonna add these curly braces like this. And we're gonna write product dot variance dot first dot inventory quantity okay with an underscore and that will show up our inventory quantity great so the next thing you might want to do is add text to other parts so if you want to put it in a sentence like mine was uh, then I would write something like we have and then this code and then items remaining at the end here. And we can also wrap this in a paragraph so that it's neat, you know, don't forget the closing tag. All right, this is just normal HTML, right? Paragraph tags. Now, another thing you might want to do is only show it when you're low in stock on a particular product, right? So we can add an if statement that says, if you have less than five products, uh, then show this, otherwise do nothing. So let's do this, let's open a logic block in liquid, okay, and we're going to write if. And then here is where we write the condition. Okay, and we're going to write end if, once again, in a logic block, end if, after the code that we want to show up. Okay, um, so, and what is our condition? The condition is that this number that we're outputting is less than five. So you can literally copy this, paste it here, and then we're gonna write so less than five. Product variance, first inventory quantity is less than five. Show this. So as you can see, it's disappeared from here. Uh, because we have more than five. If I had less than 10, it would reappear. There you go. So that's all guys, it is pretty simple. Um, I'll also add this code in the video description. And like I said, if you have a product with variants, this won't work. The process is actually much more complicated. You have to edit your actual template code. Uh, you have to add some JavaScript. And the reason why it's more complicated is that you need this number to update every time when you when you actually change the color or when you change the size, right? You need this number to change as well. That's why you need to write JavaScript, so it's dynamic, uh, and that's why it's more complicated. So really, I recommend uh, using a developer. You can hire a developer from a company like StoreTasker, for example, that specializes in small tasks, and they're quite affordable, and they have very fast turnaround. But if you really want to do it yourself, I can create a tutorial for you. Just leave a comment below. Uh, and if I see enough comments, or if your comment gets a couple of likes, then I will create that tutorial. That's all guys. Leave a like if that was helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you next time.